As again, it's just not a club that I've got in the bag right now to do that, which is just we're into the wind, a bit blind over the top of the hill. I'm reaching for a club that I would ordinarily go nowhere near. That's unbelievable pick up out of the rough because the other thing this has got is some versatility. I only have one choice from there, maybe two. I'd be advising any golfer who would use a hybrid or use a fairway wood with plenty of loft. And instead, I've got a long iron in hand. And that shot there is another reason why I'm seriously considering putting these irons in a certain part of the bag. And I'm shocked by the performance. That is 176 yards to the flag. And I've just used a seven iron. And yes, it's a strong lofted seven iron, but it's the ball flight and the spin number that I'm obtaining from this type of iron that has made me seriously consider swapping in some very different irons in the mid to long end of the bag. Now, as you know, I do a lot of traveling on this channel. So when HelloFresh offered to sponsor a video, I was all over it. Planning your meals is made super easy, as is the explaining of how to cook them, as I will demonstrate later in this video. And by scanning the QR code or following the link, you can get 60% off your first box. But for now, let's get back to this very intriguing new golf club. Now, before we go any further, I just want to clarify that I've got zero interest in strong lofted irons chasing distance. That's not something that's ever been a thing for me. In fact, I'm the opposite end of the spectrum. I'm using more of a blade like iron right now. And what I like is how they feel, how they sound, how there's a consistent performance. And I'm really looking at ball flight, spin number and land angle. So I would never consider switching up irons just for purely distance alone. And I'm certainly not one that would ever go near a game improvement iron. Until now, that is. Oh, this is fast becoming my favorite club in the bag. I'll be guilty very soon of uh, overplaying it. But again, able to flight this thing down. This is a game improvement iron. At least that's what it'd be classed as. But it's got far more attributes than just being that one trick pony. And as you've just seen, just be able to flight that one down drill it up the hill against the wind again, makes it a club that I just got to put in the bag. Oh, what a pickup. A ball flight on that seven iron into the wind. Is it going to get there? Just about. So we're playing at the 150 marker there, 165 in. I think it's about time I reveal what these clubs are and I can feel a few rain specs coming down. We're staying at Bentham Golf Course and uh, staying in a nice little lodge. Let's hop inside have a closer look at what these irons are and why I think they're so interesting, not only for me, but for so many other golfers out there right now. Right, so what are the irons in question? Because ultimately that's what you want to know. And to be honest with you, they featured quite a lot on the channel in the last few days and weeks, at least anyway. They are from PXG and they are the Gen 7 irons, but they're not the irons or the model at least that I would normally move towards. So, PXG Gen 7 irons, and every generation before them for that matter, produce two options. There is the XP and there is the P. P is the player's model, and there is the XP, which is, um, well, extreme performance. And essentially the difference between the two is generally in the past, the size and bulk of the product, the strength of loft. One is the player's iron, the other is the sort of game improvement iron. And I've shied away from the XP model and always jumped into the player's model. Why it's different this time is just because of the overall performance. But I also want to talk about a big change into why I could visibly take a shine to these where I couldn't in the past. And that's because for me, they've the profile of this iron is so much smaller than it used to be. And it's not like, in my opinion, a game improvement iron. So when I show you two seven irons, one is the P model and one is the XP model. For me, there is not a huge difference. So straight away, I can visually accept the game improvement style of iron. But then, as you've already seen and I've already started to explain, is the performance attributes are incredibly good. And the bits that I have to give up in the P model do not come anywhere close to outweighing what I have to forfeit to move into the XP model. And that's why 
it's a very, very different iron. And I will also say it's a hollow bodied iron, but the sound and feel out of both of these irons is identical for me. And another reason why I'm not swayed one way or another, which I would have done in the past. HelloFresh is a simple way to order food in portions that ensure you have zero waste, a clear guide as to how to cook the meal, and the food is delivered fresh to your doorstep. It also gives you full control over your food budget, making sure you only order what you need. Each meal is clearly marked on the packaging along with an instruction sheet that is idiot proof. I'm not sure which is more impressive, my cooking skills or this new golf club. So I am demonstrating the simplicity of making chipotle honey butter rump steak with some seasoned fries and a side of coleslaw and zero waste. For those of you wondering where Tracy is, I can tell you she is sitting back enjoying life. HelloFresh also improves relationships at no extra cost. Right, so you know what the clubs are, and that was another four iron, my favorite new club in the bag. So. This XF just makes such a big difference because the ball speeds are ridiculously hot. Yes, they're going a long way. Now we could attribute that all to the loft, which we normally would do, but these ball speeds uh, coupled with the launch and the spin and the descent angle that I mentioned earlier mean that they're a very playable iron. But what they mean is that there's not a great deal of difference between those other parameters, spin, launch, and descent angle between the four iron and the seven iron that I would have in the regular P model and from normal sort of player's irons. So therefore, why would anybody in their right mind deny themselves the extra ball speeds that are coming from these if all other attributes are pretty much similar to a player's type iron? And that's the dilemma I've put myself in and one I never expected to be in. I'm hugely shocked just as to how good these are it came out of purely a fluke as to why I tried these in the first place. And trust me, they're very, very different. I wouldn't go near a game improvement iron in the past simply because top line would be way too bulky. The bottom would be again too bulky. The overall mass and appearance of that address would be too bulky. These are still a substantial iron, don't get me wrong, and then far, far from a blade, but they're compact enough to make it justifiable so that I can gain all the benefits that game improvement irons, if that's what we're gonna call them, provide. And these are pretty much unique in this category, in my opinion, and why I think that any golfer out there that doesn't really like using the hybrid option at the long end of the bag, but has been forced into it because of the ball speed situation, then this is a real viable option for you to try and by far the best longest iron that I've been able to use consistently that I've seen forgiveness, ball speed and performance throughout. But I would even go, like I said, tempted to go even down to the seven iron and sort of try and get a blend in somewhere between the P model and the XFs. And if I'm honest with you, if I found that the, the, the launch spin and land angle was the same throughout the set because I've not tried anything below a seven iron then I don't see why I wouldn't play them throughout the bag so a real shock find I would love anyone who's uh, tried the XP to let me know I think I've just been calling it XF for a long time I'd love anyone who's tried the XP let me know what your thoughts are and try out the Gen 7 model if not and then come back and give me some feedback am I just hitting the ball really well right now or is there something genuinely within these new PXG irons that are doing something incredibly different anyway that's me done thank you for watching thank you to our sponsor thanks to Bentham Golf Club and everybody else who watches and passes comments hits that like button and gets involved in the channel we always appreciate your support right I'll see you soon